the linear graph method. Now in at math, you have learned linear law in your first chapters, right? At math, first chapter, linear law, right? So this one is the linear law, okay? But uh, it's easier than linear law, okay? Uh, linear law is complicated, okay? Uh, this one is very simple. What we do is, okay, what we do is um, the, the circuit first, uh, let me draw you, draw the circuit there. Uh. Uh, what we do is that uh, we have a word meter across the cell, okay, and then we have an emitter here, and then we have a variable resistor which we can change the resistance, uh, okay, and uh, when we change the resistance, the readings of the word meter and the readings of the emitter will change, okay, and let's say we co uh, we collect ten sets of uh, readings, ten sets of readings, uh. so after we get a ten sets of readings and then we plot the graph. Okay, we plot the graph. So 10 sets of reading, we plot the graph, okay? And then we get a straight line graph. Yeah, we get a straight line graph. After getting this straight line graph, then we form a uh, linear equations, eh? linear equations of this uh, straight line graph. Now the linear equation is like this. We know that E is equal to V plus IR, eh? IR. And we know that uh, the equation for a straight line is y equal to mx plus c, right? y equal to mx plus c, yeah? okay? And y is the vertical axis, and the vertical axis is v, yeah? okay? So we want to make v the vertical axis or y axis. Yeah? So we move this ir to another side, okay? Move the ir to another side. Then the equation becomes v equal to negative IR plus E. We have our vertical axis uh, as Y. So this is a vertical axis. Uh, so Y equal to V already. Uh. So the uh, Y axis, uh, our Y axis is the potential difference. Okay. Then how about the horizontal axis? Horizontal axis is current, right? And uh, horizontal axis should be X. Uh. Okay, so now we have negative IR, so we need to change a little bit here, okay? Uh, change a little here, become negative RI. Okay, negative RI, yeah? So that the RI is the uh, horizontal axis, the X. Uh. Okay, now let's compare this equation with this equations. Uh. Compare these equations. Uh, y equals to MX plus C, yeah? okay? see this one first okay the vertical axis the x x the y axis is v so the y axis is v okay the x axis is current i so the x axis uh, the x axis or the x axis is current i uh, then from here then straight away we know that the currents must be the negative internal resistance this one uh, let me use another color so the internal the current the current must be equal to the sorry the gradient sorry yeah? the gradient must be equal to the negative internal resistance and also the y intercept uh, c is the y intercept is equal to the emf okay the c equal to the emf uh, c so so you see just by rewriting these equations uh, Okay, rewriting this equation so that the vertical axis is the potential difference and horizontal axis is the current. When we compare these two equations, uh, then we know that the gradient is the negative internal resistance and the y-intercept is the EMF. So gradient of the graph is negative internal resistance and the y-intercept is equal to the EMF. Okay, now another thing uh, that you need to take note for this graph is... Uh, the graph is a negative gradient, eh? negative gradients. 
um, some students eh, they have learned that from Ohm's law. Ohm's law. The current is directly proportional to the potential difference. So then the straight line, the line should be like this, proportion directly proportional. Eh? You should get a straight line like this, right? But this one is uh, is not the straight line like this. Is but uh, is uh, the straight lines go down, right? Okay, the straight line go down. Eh? Some students then eh, they may think that this is a mistake. Okay, this is a mistake. Eh? So therefore. In exam, okay. Last time this, uh, I have one student. Okay, in exam, he's when he see this graph, uh, okay, he said, "Oh, this must be a mistake." So, uh, if it's a mistake, then uh, no need to do right, okay, because in exam, uh, if there's a mistake, your teacher will give you free mark. So he ignored these questions, totally ignored these questions, and waiting for free mark. So don't don't do that, okay? Don't do that uh, because uh, that is a different uh, apparatus setup. This and this, uh, the apparatus setup is different. So, uh, so the graph is also different. This one is a terminal potential difference. Uh, this is just a measuring potential difference. This measuring terminal potential difference. So it's different. It's not the same thing. So if you see potentials against currents and the straight lines go down, uh, don't think that this is a mistake. This is just another types of apparatus setup of the experiment. So gradient equals to negative internal resistance and uh, y intercept equals to EMF. Eh? The graph eh, shows the variations of potential difference. So what's the internal resistance or the EMF? What's the EMF? E equal to what? The EMF is equal to the y intercept, right? Yes, 3 volt. See how easy it is. Straight away. The y intercept is equal to the EMF. Then how about the uh, internal resistance? Now internal resistance is equal to the negative of the gradient, eh? and the gradient is this. Okay, so it's negative. Okay, now the gradient is also negative. Eh? The gradient is negative because uh, this one, this one, it go down slope, right? Okay, go down. Eh? It's a down slope, so it's negative. Uh, the height. Is three and the width is six. Eh? Okay, this is three and this is six. Eh? Okay, uh, then it will become positive. Eh? Positive, zero point five ohm. So the internal resistance, the internal resistance is equal to the negative gradient, and the gradient is negative. So negative negative, it become it become positive. Okay, so then it become a uh, plus zero point five ohm. Uh, so that is uh, how we use a linear graph to find the EMF and the internal resistance.